Kevin Lyman's Warped Tour Festival always wanted to decimate cities sonically, not physically. In 2005, Kevin made a posting on the WarpedTour.com announcing the creation of a new position on Warped Tour, Recycling Coordinator. He wanted to hire two college students to take on the responsibility, and Aaron Gorski took the helm. Recycling began, and also the start of an eco-success. In 2006, Warped Eco Initiative began to grow. Volunteers started showing up to help with tent setup and cleanup. But in 2007, everything changed. Solar-powered stages, portable solar setup for Warped Eco, and biodiesel were all in full swing. Earth Echo also came into the picture in the beginning of promoting the greenest band and crew member contests began. Combining music and skateboarding with awareness, a new generation was shaped. From the example of Warped Eco Initiative, bands conducted interviews, posted updates on social networks, and most importantly, got their fans involved as well. In 2008, Tara Copacetic joined the team. This was the year that Warped Eco Initiative won the Take Action Do Something grant. And Warped Tour Eco Initiative was featured as an Innovator of the Year with Alternative Press Magazine. So 2009-2010, Warped Eco Initiative continued to grow. Now recycling is common practice with Warped Tour, the bands, and the fans. Warped Eco Initiative had changed the impact of the modern day festival to truly only decimate sonically and not physically. <laughs> And now we welcome the new leader of Warped Eco Initiative, Renee Sharpless.